the family of uh, our friend Mze Nechai, Excellency the President, all protocols of sound, Abagusi Mbuyamuri, Amjambo Yote, as I said in the church the other time, we have come to mourn a great Kenyan. Simon Yachai, by all accounts, and everything that has been said about him, was a great Kenyan and a great human being. I explained that at a time, the relationship between the late Musa Nyandusi's family and the family of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. We are family, and I explained how I first came to Nyosia in 1954, when I was a small boy, the home of the late Paramount Chief Musa Nyandusi. He was a great friend of Jaramogi, and therefore we are a family. I have had occasion to have long discussions with Simon, Simeon, together with our late friend, the late Joe Bomino. And through those discussions, we shared a lot with Nyachai. Nyachai is somebody who's schooled in the tradition of the British civil service, which basically promotes excellency and uh, uh, correctness in service of the people. He served at a time when there was a transition from the colonial system of administration that we had inherited to ours. And that was the time when some of you may know the Ndegwa Commission report had been published, which was allowed civil servants to be engaged in business, private business. So whatever Nyachai did, at that time, it was fairly legal because it was allowed by the, the, the government at that time. It was, it was not any kind of corrupt practice. Civil servants were officially allowed to engage in private practice, uh, uh, private businesses. But apart from that, Nyachai excelled as an administrator and eventually as a um, uh, uh, in, this, in, in the main civil service, as a permanent secretary, and finally as a cabinet minister. And as a cabinet minister, of course, a lot has been said already about him. Then when he resigned as a minister of finance, we were now with him in the back benches. And then when eventually we formed the Rainbow Coalition, the, 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 the Rainbow Alliance, he had already started four people. And then we came together, four people and LDP, which had formed, and formed the National Rainbow, no, Rainbow Coalition. And the Rainbow Coalition then teamed up with NAK of uh, Maya Kibaki, Malwa Kijana, and Terry Tingilu to form the National Rainbow Coalition, NAC. As Kalonzo has said, but lengthy negotiations at Sereno Hotel. Curtis Calonzo, who was then Minister for Tourism, although he had resigned. And then I put the question, we want to come out of this meeting with one candidate. Because Kanu was at Kasarani, I knew that we were going to come out with Uhuru Kenyatta as a candidate. <laughs> so I told him, let us agree that we can only have one candidate. So as they announced the candidate there, we also announced our here at Uhuru Park. Nobody was willing to budge. I said, I'm pulling out myself. Who follows me? Nobody was ready to follow me. <laughs> and that's why when we went to Uhuru Park and I had the last word, I said, Sikibaki Tosha. Of course, it did not go down well with my, my, my brother. But we later on discussed it, 
And I told him, you know, it was just going to be you and me. And it was not going to work because others were not going to come with us. And we became friends again. Eventually, we served in the same cabinet with Simon. When he came in as, as a minister, first minister for energy, in the, the same uh, government. And we were working very closely together. I remember there's one time when I had a, a problem. We had this road called Kisi Chemosid Road, which had not been constructed for a long time. Every election time, a contractor would be appointed. When elections are over, it would be withdrawn. So when I came as Minister for Roads, I put my PS, no, my Chief Engineer Roads, the late Barnabas Ariga. And I told him, we appoint a contractor and I receive a progress report on a monthly basis. And it was done and completed. The branch to Nyamira Town. When I came to Nyamira Town, the people told me, we have a tarmac in out of town. But for us to go to the provincial headquarters, you have to go all the way through Kisi, around the Yugis, back to Kisumu. Yet from here to center, it's just about 20 kilometers. So then I went to the cabinet memo to the cabinets. Because the contractor had agreed to maintain the same rates to do the 20 kilometers, Nyamira to center. Then when uh, I presented this, it was opposed by other seven ministers. But Nyachai stood by me and said, you, Mr. Mr. President, it is always possible, it is always done in government. So long as the contractor agrees to maintain the same uh, uh, rates, it is fast, it's going to be cheaper than if you have to go and uh, re-advertise again. Kibaki had a lot of uh, respect for Nyachai. So he said, sour, sour. That's how I was given a go ahead to do Nyamira to center. May the good, I, today it's not politics, but I can say BBI. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I suggest we're coming to the end. I'm soon going to hand it over to His Excellency the Deputy President. But the Speaker of the Senate is here, Honorable Ken Lusaka. I would request you kindly for one minute. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, former Prime Minister, distinguished mourners, 